spear is a synchrotron, an electron storage ring where we accelerate electrons to make x-rays. The ring is 234 meters in circumference. I'm Craig Haggard. I'm one of the spear operators here at SSRL. Spear was originally a tool used by particle physicists when it was a colliding beam experiment. Now it's a dedicated synchrotron light source that provides x-rays to the users that are around the periphery of the spear ring. When you accelerate the electrons, they give off photons of a particular energy, and that x-ray energy is what our users depend on. Sometime in the last century, they realized that if you bend a particle, a charged particle beam, it will create photons of a certain energy. And in our case, it's, the machine is uh, intended to make that kind of energy, and that's x-rays. We're inside Spear 3. This is the beam pipe that contains the electron beam that's stored inside a high vacuum. It's bent into a circular shape by these large red bend magnets and focused by these blue magnets. These are focusing coils. These green magnets are sextipoles. They take out chromatic aberration. During the normal user run, we don't actually have to do much when things are working well. But when things go wrong, that's when you have to deal with it. And things do often go wrong, not usually in a really bad way, but a power supply will trip off or uh, a hutch protection system on the user side will accidentally get triggered. Lock up, get everybody out. All the safety systems here are intended to be fail safe, so if there's any questionable status signal, it, it shuts off the beam. Spear has changed slowly over the years, but it has changed. Um, I've been here 22 years now, and its operating is dramatically different than what it was 22 years ago. Key bank complete. Working at Slack in general is awesome because it always changes. It's basic science research, so what you do depends on what happens and what you learn.